So it looks like things are looking up for Britney because she's on the winning side of everything. She's got an amazing lawyer who is holding her old team accountable and exposing them for who they really are. You guys know that we don't love TMZ on this channel. We don't hate them, but we don't love them. But this article, chef's kiss. Britney Spears' former business manager, lying. They were knee-deep in creating this conservatorship, which <laughs> we all know this. If you guys don't know who Lou M. Taylor is, she is Britney's former business manager. She's part of TriStar Sports and Entertainment, and she's threatened to sue me before over my videos. So... She's got something to hide. Britney Spears' lawyer is calling BS on her former business manager, claiming the owner of the company lied about its involvement in the conservatorship, and that's why it's objecting to forking over critical documents about its conduct. Britney's lawyer, Matthew Rosengart, filed legal documents obtained by TMZ saying TriStar Entertainment, which he says snagged more than 18 million dollars from the 13 year long conservatorship has lied to the judge by claiming it had no involvement in the creation of the conservatorship this company has made 18 million dollars off of britney think about it britney's been working her whole life and her net worth is what 60 million dollars so like one third of her whole net worth has been like consumed by this company who's put her in a 13 year long conservatorship rosengard continues that just before jamie spears went to court and became his daughter's temporary conservator he borrowed a minimum of forty thousand dollars from tristar pretty much a down payment if he gets britney in this conservatorship then tristar will give you 40k and we'll work together to make her a cash cow which at the time was pretty obscure a company just paid off jamie spears and repped no other celebrities so i guess really britney was one of the first people to be part of tristar sports and entertainment and probably someone they used to sell their business to other stars to get them signed on. Rosengard believes the money had strings attached, that that 40k meant something, that Jamie would get the cash and TriStar would get Britney's business. The lawyer said in the past that this alleged quid pro quo is highly suspicious, if not improper. He wants TriStar to produce all of the documents related to the issue, but TriStar wants to block that move, wants the judge, Judge Brenda Penny, to side with them. Britney's lawyer notes that TriStar's owner, Lou Taylor, has reportedly said her company had no role whatsoever in the creation of a conservatorship for Britney Spears. Lou Taylor's associate, Robin Greenhill, said in a sworn declaration at the time the conservatorship was established by this court in early 2008, TriStar had no role in Miss Spears' affairs. So um, they're claiming they weren't a part of the conservatorship process, yet that's not what we've discovered. Rosengart says that's just false pointing to an email from Lou Taylor to Jamie in January 2008, weeks before the conservatorship was established, which she wrote, he, attorney Andrew Wallet, and TriStar will serve as co's, co-conservators with you. Andrew Wallet is a very sketchy guy who I believe no longer has his license, and this man honestly needs to be investigated for criminal activity because he does not know how to handle money. There's a lot of times what happens is even though they're not psychotic anymore, they're not a danger to themselves anymore because you've gotten them stabilized, they still can't handle their finances. They still can't really make a medical decision that's in their best interest. Lou Taylor wrote another email to another lawyer before the conservatorship was established saying, I look forward to working with you. And then there's this. One of Jamie's lawyers sent an email to Lou Taylor before going to court and creating the temporary conservatorship saying, we have run into a problem with the judge selection. The only judge who will be able to hear our case on Friday is the one drug who will not give Jamie the power to administer the psych psychotropic drugs wait what the only judge who will be able to hear our case on friday is the one drug who will not give jamie the power mm, you mean the one judge who will not give jamie the power to administer the drug i don't know if like tmd <laughs> has some grammar issues but honestly i i really wish that one of these articles or like one of these publishers would go and hire grammar people because i could totally if youtube doesn't work out please hire me to like proofread your articles because i can't handle this bad grammar but what the hell that is proof right there that jamie 
and a lawyer and TriStar were all working together to get a specific judge on the case. It would have been Judge Goats, actually, at this point, Reva Goats. And this judge would allow Jamie to pretty much do whatever he wants. So um, that's pretty scary to think that they were coordinating with the the courthouse to figure out which judge would take this case. Matthew Rosengart notes, during the run of the conservatorship, TriStar got 5% cut of whatever Brittany made, and that amounted to $18 million. 5%? That 5%? $18 million is much more than 5% of $60 million. Hmm. He also says that TriStar's celebrity clientele, which includes members of the Kardashian family and Travis Scott, was built on the back of Britney Spears. That's what I was just saying a few minutes ago, that they used Britney Spears' fame to leverage and gain other clients like the Kardashians, because the Kardashians do work with Lou and Taylor. There was also another email that was revealed by Variety of all people. So let's go ahead and look at that email, because it's another piece of evidence that shows that Lou and Taylor was involved. Email Emails referenced in the filing appear to indicate that Lou Taylor wanted to be a co-conservator. An alleged email from February 2008, Lou Taylor wrote, I am the right person for this. I have fought for Jamie for three years, prayed and fasted with him every week, and life has changed drastically because of this determination. So determined to really take someone's rights and everything from them. It's really scary. I still can't believe that Britney had to deal with these people because they seem like they're truly the most evil people in Hollywood. But Rosengart wants documents to determine TriStar's role, if any, in secretly monitoring Britney's communications, including her text messages. Of course, the attorney also wants to review TriStar's communications with Jamie Spears regarding the later conduct in the conservatorship. So, uh, when Brittany was sent off to a rehab facility and all this put on lithium and all this crap, they want to know why that really happened and if TriStar has a role in it. It looks like the judge has yet to rule on whether TriStar must bring up the documents or not. Honestly, I I mean the right thing would do the right thing to do would be to fork up the documents and allow them to see what's happened because if you're not guilty then there's no reason to hide this but i have a feeling that i don't know i have a feeling the judge is going to block it and that's because tristar is determined like lou and taylor was determined to get britney into a conservatorship she's also determined to defend herself and like how you know she's tried to come after me with these the cease and desist letters and she's also gone after these publishers and this article came out from tmz and of course you already know that she had her lawyers on top of it so tristar has sent over their lawyers to tmz and they provided them a statement tristar attorney scott tells tmz this is materially misleading as all the evidence makes abundantly clear the conservatorship was set up on the re recommendation of legal counsel hmm not tristar and approved by the court more than 12 years ago in fact tristar was not even the business manager for the conservatorship when it was established. Hmm, but we've seen emails that show that they were very much involved. Cherry-picked excerpts from emails cannot change the facts, which is why this nonsense will all end once and for all once the records are unsealed. So it sounds like Lou Taylor's team wants the documents unsealed, which I'm like, well, let's unseal them. Let's do it. Let's see what really happened here, because these people have a lot to hide if they're over here, like, getting me on my little old channel, on my little old YouTube channel, and you're coming for me? Please, seriously. But... Um, honestly, guys, please send me some good vibes if you have some to spare. I've just been going through a lot lately, and I feel like I'm in, like, I don't know. I'm in a place in my life where, like, I'm trying to figure out what... But anyways, I'm just going through it. I'm sure one day, if, like, it really goes bad, I'll publicly speak about it. But I hope it doesn't, because I really do like this guy. Anyways, I've got a gift from Allie, and it looks like they're from... Arizona, which we love Arizona over here. Let's go ahead and see what they sent me. Um, here's my email. Oh, did the whole table just shake? Here's my email if you guys have any other video ideas for me. Let's go ahead and check this out. Also, I do want to mention that there is another TriStar, I mean, not TriStar, another like free, well, there's a TriStar rally and a free Britney rally on like July 20th, I believe. Um, I will be attending everything I can attend, uh, but I just want, oh my gosh, stop. These are so cute come on get out of here dear sloan i found your channel about a year ago and i've been excited for every video that comes out you were the person i watched during the gabby petito case i custom made this keychain for you i did not make the stickers i really hope you enjoy it 
um, whether you decide to use them. I provide my Etsy shop name so the viewers could purchase one if they would like. I also make baby milestones discs on acrylic. That's sweet. Thank you for taking the time to read this letter as well as review my product. Please keep making videos. You're amazing. I love you. I've missed opening PO Box package items because I feel so connected to you guys. And look how cute this freaking... I love my camera because I film on my phone now. So I can like... Look how much better it zooms. And then it come, and then I'm in focus again. Like, I love that. Like, look at this. And this is so sweet. I'm like, I'm going to definitely put this on my keys because I'm finally going to have my car back. And it looks like their their shop is called Salt Designs by Allie. And they also sent me a couple of stickers, Sips Tea and Daddy, which is just so sweet. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much, Allie, for the sweet gifts. I will link everything below. And I'll see you guys at a new video soon. Comment below what you think about this. Like, do you think this is like monumental because it kind of feels monumental to me anyways i'll see you guys next time bye